Welcome back to New Day Northwest. A lot of us remember the tragic death of college lacrosse player Yardley Love. Yardley was found beaten to death in her apartment near campus. Her ex-boyfriend later convicted in her death. She was just three weeks shy of graduating. Yardley's legacy lives on in the One Love Foundation, and here to tell us more about that and an event called Move for Love Seattle is Denise Balthrop Cassidy and her son, J.R. Cassidy. Thank you both for being here. Thank you so much for having us. It means so much to both of us. Yeah, thank you so much. Absolutely. This organization means so much, and I know that the One Love organization is pretty well known on the East Coast, mm -hmm. but it, it really isn't a common name here yet. Why was it so important for you to bring this here? Well, I am very happily married to the love of my life, Barney Cassidy, <laughs> and I have three wonderful children, Bernie and JR here, and my daughter Rose. Um, but long before that, um, I, uh, relationship abuse touched my life. And so my husband and I have been looking for a long time for an organization that was trying to get ahead of the problem. So in 2016, uh, the Seahawks Women's Association brought One Love for a workshop and I, a good friend of mine invited me to attend. And after it was over, I knew that what One Love was doing would work, that we needed to get ahead of this, teach young people the difference between healthy and unhealthy relationships. And so I was all in, I said, I'll clean toilets, I'll have, you know, breakfast meetings, whatever you need. And I've been in all in ever since. I love you for that. That is amazing <laughs> because this is such an, it's an important feature. And, and the biggest part of One Love is this preventative education. Why is that so important for young people? Why is it so important to be talking about this when they're young in high school? Well, love is the most important thing in our lives relationships, I mean, what else is more mm -hmm. important? And it's so important for young people to know the difference between healthy and unhealthy mm -hmm. relationships, the things that I didn't know when I was young. And, and so what we're trying to do is, it, give this education to young people. I mean, we have phys ed, we have driver's ed, we need love ed. Yes. So we're really trying to give young people this education before they go into their adult life. You know, we, we, they know how to do calculus. I mean, they know how to speak Spanish. They know so many wonderful things and they need to have this skill too. This is a, a skill that is gonna go beyond loving relationships too. And I would imagine relationships in work and in every part of their life. So Everything. this is an incredible thing that you're doing and your son, he is a teen ambassador. JR, you are an ambassador. That's right. Um, tell us about the role you play and what peer to peer uh, counseling would be. Yeah, so um, in the One Love Foundation, I play two major roles. First, like you mentioned, teen ambassador. Um, generally, what I do is that I go on like One Love's education center. I attend meetings where like I learn information and then I bring it back to my community, my school, for example. Uh, I co-lead a club with two other teen ambassadors called the Love Better Club. <laughs> I'm at school where we, you know, we have workshops. We we watch films, One Love Education films, and we sort of bring that education to the community. I'm also a member of the uh, Youth Advisory Board, so our job there is to sort of influence the direction of One Love okay. from within uh, the organization and you know, influence the new directions of content and things like that. And I think peer-to-peer -peer education is so important because I think it's an authentic response to an authentic need. It's right. not like a PSA where you're being you know, sat down and told what to think. It's your peers telling you to come together in, in that space. I think people really respond to it because you can be open, you can be vulnerable, you can talk about your own life and things that are, you know. And relate. Exactly. I think I remember, you know, years ago when I would be in a class and, and the teachers would come to you and they would say this, but when a peer-to-peer -peer group happened, it, it, it is more relatable and it touches you Absolutely. more deeply. As a parent of teenagers, Denise, what do you want every single young person to know about when it comes to relationships? I want every person, every young person to know the difference between healthy and unhealthy relationships. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, one love we have these top 10 signs and, and you know, like the, the unhealthy ones are like intensity, possessiveness. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the healthy ones are things that, you know, you all know about, trust. Uh, I got them right here, actually. Oh, look, she's got them all. <laughs> intensity, possession, <laughs> manipulation, isolation, sabotage, belittling, guilting, Volatility, volatility, volatility. <laughs> thank you, betrayal, and deflecting responsibility. This is great that you hand out these amazing cards for kids to keep around 
and hopefully see. Yeah, and I we, we have those in a basket by our front door, and we keep them on our bathroom wall at our house. Uh, you know, it's a great use of free time uh, to learn the top 10 signs of a healthy and unhealthy it is, relationship. Denise. All right, we only have about 45 seconds left, and okay. I just have to ask you about Move for Love Seattle. Tell us all about it. Oh my gosh, we are so excited about Move for Love. It's going to be so much fun. It's a fun, family friendly 5K walk run that's going to be happening at Lumen Field on May 21st. And in partnership with our wonderful Seattle Seahawks, who have been great sponsors of One Love from the very beginning. And you can register at moveforlove.org. Um, you can come and do the walk run or just bring your family. And there's going to be face painting, there's going to be food. And oh, we have a very special guest who's coming. That's what right. you tell? Um, if you're in a Peloton, um, you might know Dennis Morton. He's oh, yeah. a uh, yeah, he's a yoga instructor. He's a Peloton instructor. He happens to be my cousin. So uh, well, <laughs> there you have it, y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness! Thank you so much for coming in, for telling us about this, for just sharing this incredibly important thing that is going to not only save hearts but save lives. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, once again, Move for Love Seattle is Saturday, May 21st at Lumen Field. You can register today at joinonelove.org. Well, coming up next, we are con continuing to celebrate Teacher Appreciation Week. Producer Susie is joining me to talk about a very special teacher in her life. We'll be back. This portion of New Day Northwest is sponsored by One Love Foundation.